All right, so there is my uh, neighbour's smart meter. Not so smart, but anyway. And my wall is literally there. That's my bedroom window. So obviously we're not, we can't have that. We can't have a smart meter that close. The readings on my bed are quite frightening. So we have built this RF insulator smart meter screen. As you can see, it's like a little bit of a fence. You've got two posts, one either side. And on one side, we've put 0.55 mil sheet of copper. On the other side, we've put 0.55 mil sheets of aluminium. And uh, we've covered it with some lattice. There's the sheet of aluminium. And it's actually... Um, a little bit over two meters tall and two meters wide. And those posts go into the ground with some concrete, a bag of concrete, of quick set concrete on each side. Dig a hole, shove the post in. You can see that copper sheeting right there on the left, tucked behind that piece of little little piece of chipboard. There it is. And on this side, you've got aluminium. And the difference between the side that has the smart meter and this side here with readings on RF meter is just extraordinary. I'm getting 200 milliwatts on that side and on, on the other side I'm getting 2 milliwatts. So it's doing an amazing job. And I've put that extra piece of chipboard across the copper so that it doesn't get stolen, people can't see that it's copper because it's not cheap these days. The most important thing is to ground both sheets. So you can see here, I've whacked a grounding stake in and with a piece of wire to the left sheet and a piece of wire to the right sheet connected to two little latches that connect on there and that way instead of the whole thing acting as an antenna, it's actually absorbing that RF and sending it into the ground. So there you have it, a really effective way of saving yourself from getting lots and lots of, of really, really bad smart meter RF radiation. And you can also put that inside a wall as well. So uh, very, very important uh, thing to, to set up if you're close to a smart meter.